Good afternoon. Welcome to the class of 2020 commencement ceremony. Will you please now stand for the singing of our national anthem by Student Council Vice President Claire Free. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave great work You may be seated. I am Ronald Rasmussen, the very proud principal of Lincoln High School. It's great respect and honor that I represent the faculty, staff, and administration of the School District of Wisconsin Rapids this afternoon. I'd like to welcome all family, friends, and guests to the commencement of the class of 2020 and the 117th graduating class from Wisconsin Rapids. Wow, 2020. I never thought we'd be here, so we're really happy you're here to celebrate with us. The theme of this year's yearbook was Through Our Eyes. I really think that the past six months have allowed us to look at our school, our society, and our lives with a new lens. Who would have thought your last day as a class physically together until Friday at graduation practice would have been March 13th? In the yearbook section titled Technology in Our Eyes, it stated, this year, Lincoln introduces something new to student learning, their own personal Chromebooks. Wow, little did we know how much we'd be using those things. As it went on, it said, they can get their work done. They did not have to log out and log back in every hour. They could just open up their Chromebook at the exact same spot they were at. The Chromebooks help students focus better. Yep, I need to say yes, that's true. And learn better because their teacher could put notes online and the student could follow along in their Chromebook and be able to write down some things that they may have missed in that lesson. The students could also use these notes at home for studying. Pretty prophetic statements written in early January. I don't want to spend much time really talking about the past three months because your fellow classmates will do that in a bit. I just want to say thank you for what you have done and what you will continue to do in your future. To, to end, I want to draw attention to the last quote in your yearbook by Kablia Tao. Kablia's quote was, the world can be a scary place, but don't be afraid to write the unwritten. And at this point, I'd like to have the band come up and I'd like to welcome class president Ellie Reedveld to the stage to welcome you from the class of 2020. So band members, please move.
Good afternoon. My name is Ellie Rietveld, and I'm the senior class president of the class of 2020. To all the faculty, families, teachers, friends, and classmates gathered here today, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you all to this long, long-awaited graduation ceremony. Class of 2020, we're here. We're graduating, finally. It's almost 11 months since we started our senior year. But throughout this ceremony, you'll hear more about the good, the bad, and the ugly of having the longest senior skip day ever. So <laughs> what about everything else? Almost three years ago, we were entering Lincoln High School for the first time as sophomores, struggling to figure out how to get through the cafeteria and successfully get the food you want. The next year, we welcomed two new classes and somehow they managed to clog the hallway traffic like none other before. <laughs> and this year, we spent a third of our year learning online. Learning online while also binge watching as much Netflix as possible. So I think it's pretty impressive that we're all here graduating right now. And so now that we're here, surrounded by our friends that we've made, the classmates we've laughed with, the families that supported us, and the teachers that guided and brought us here today. I want you to remember your high school experience and the moments that made it yours. And also, of course, once you're a Red Raider, you're a Red Raider forever. And now the LHS band under the direction of Mrs. Jeannie Olson.
And now I'd like to welcome 18 of our 24 highest honor graduates to the stage to deliver the senior address. Just like everything else, I normally meet with these students multiple times in the spring, but our most frequent meetings were via Zoom and uh, trying to figure out what we were going to talk about today. Well, that was pretty obvious when I got to March of exactly what we were going to talk about today. So delivering the senior address to these 18 graduates, their titled selection, COVID Comments. Hello all of you cool cats and kittens, I mean the class of 2020 graduates. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you must have had a less eventful quarantine than the rest of us. Now that we have all come to an agreement about our feelings towards Carol Baskin, let's take a trip down memory lane. Back in preschool, I bet that you didn't realize our senior year would have ended with us giving into our lazy habits. Some turned to Netflix, TikTok, and Hulu, while some used all of their motivation to complete the online school and attend Zoom sessions. Freshman year, I was told to predict how my life would be in years to come, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I never mentioned a pandemic in mine. But all jokes aside, as the year 2020 approached, I, for one, anticipated this year to be life-altering, but I never took into account how life-changing it might be. Adjusting to the new social distancing rules, mask, regulators, <laughs> mask regulations, and fighting to keep a positive mindset were moments where our resilience proved to be essential. Although we didn't get a full senior year, we still created unforgettable moments. Using the perseverance and resilience that we have equipped throughout these past 18 years, we can surely thrive through any life-altering moments to come. Congratulations, Class of 2020. The world moves at roughly 1,000 miles per hour a day. Yet within weeks, it felt as if our lives had come to a complete stop. When told on March 13th that we would be moving to online instruction for the next three weeks, never did we think that this would extend till the end of the year. As online school was continually extended, we eventually accepted the harsh reality that our senior year may come to an abrupt end. We realized that we may never get to see some of our friends again or hit that final home run on our last game at senior night of our baseball game. So we searched for meaning in this time of uncertainty and discovered that maybe this was a sign. A sign to slow down, to cherish human connection, and live instead of simply exist. We had no other option than to improvise. Teachers found new ways to teach, students new ways to learn, and friends new ways to connect. What I just described is the process of resilience. Resilient people possess three defining characteristics. They accept the harsh realities that face them, they find meaning in terrible times, and they have an uncanny ability to improvise, making do with whatever's at hand. Resilience cannot be taught in a classroom, but instead only learned through experience. It is what allowed Walt Disney to create a world of his own after being constantly called a failure, and is the very thing that will allow you to grow from the experience you once thought put a stop to your entire life. I understand COVID-19 took a lot from us, but if we should know anything, it is that this experience has made us more resilient. Class of 2020, a graduating class to never be forgotten, the world will never stop moving for you. So stay resilient and live every day like it's your last. One of my favorite shows that I binge watched during quarantine quoted, Sometimes the wrong train takes us to the right destination. But if you think about it, we all have definitely been on the tr wrong train more than once in our life. Whether it be our mistakes, failures, 
losses or the unexpected. 2020 has brought great losses, mistakes, failures, and the unexpected, COVID-19. Seniors, I know there were so many things that just didn't go the way we wanted it to because of this pandemic, but I'm sure we've all had a lot to reflect on, especially on ourselves. While reflecting on myself, as well as binging over 20 Netflix shows throughout quarantine, I learned that by taking the wrong train, it becomes just as valuable as taking the right train. In other words, our failures, mistakes, losses, and the unexpected are just as important as our triumphs. I know right now, it feels like we're on the wrong train because we are currently in a pandemic. But seniors, look at what, just, look at what we arrived at right now. We all took the wrong train just to get to this very destination of achieving our very last and unforgettable moments of high school. And to my final, in my final words to the class of 2020, as you venture off into the unknown, I hope that no matter what train you take in your life, it takes you to the right destination. If the year of 2020 has taught me anything, it is that nothing should ever be taken for granted, always live in the moment, and make the best of every situation, even this one. As cliche as it sounds, the COVID pandemic had made me realize the importance of these things. Regardless of how this has affected you as a class of 2020 senior, as a teacher, or even as a parent, everyone has been affected by this in one way or another. I tried to stay positive throughout this whole situation, and the easiest way for me to do that was to reminisce on all of the memories that I was able to make throughout my time at LHS. Although this is something I definitely will never forget, it is not how I'm going to remember my high school career or how I will define my senior year. I'm going to remember all of the football games with my friends, Mr. Hankey's announcements, the rush to get to lunch on chicken tender sandwich day, and surviving a whole trimester of sophomore science with Stan and his crazy wolf shirts. I wouldn't trade the memories or friendships made at LHS for anything. I just wish our time here ended differently. So even though our senior year was cut a little short, we still have two and a half years of other memories to hold on to. So here's to us, the class of 2020. When I started this year, I would have never guessed it would end in a pandemic. I remember counting down the days into our original graduation date on May 31st, but little did I know my count was far off from our re real graduation day today. The fact that we are here today, in August rather than May, shows how truly unpredictable life could be. While adapting to change during the pandemic was difficult, it is important to remember it's, it is an important thing to remember for the future. For most of us, our lives and goals will change and it will be important to adapt just like how we adapted to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the pandemic, rather than getting up and going to class in person, we had to adapt to having class virtually. For most of us, this was a challenge. We missed seeing our friends at school and our families at home may have driven us on the verge of going crazy, but we made it through. While things don't always go as planned, it's all right because they seem to have a way of working out in the end. The ending of our senior year here at Lincoln High School definitely did not go as planned, but it will be unforgettable. In a way, the unexpected truly keeps life interesting. One idea, one action, one moment can dramatically transform the world. We know this to be true now more than ever. In mere months, one case of COVID-19 quickly grew into a pandemic. As it spread throughout the globe, the path it left behind forced us to adapt to the new circumstances, and we, have, well, we, will, we will have to continue to adapt as the lasting effects of this disease reveal themselves in the upcoming years. However, 
That is not what we should be taking away from this tragedy. If this disease has shown us anything, it has proved that we can be the difference in this world. What you do every day can and will change the lives of thousands, millions, and even billions. All it takes is one idea, one act, and one moment to make the world a better place. So take that risk, follow your dreams, and be the next pandemic that spreads overwhelming positive change to our world. Congratulations, class of 2020. Many of us have never experienced anything as life-changing as this pandemic. We have been challenged and pushed to do great things throughout the first 18 years of our life. As we were quarantined to protect ourselves and the others around us, life was dramatically altered. In order to push through the negative aspects of quarantine, I made an effort to keep a positive mindset by appreciating the little things in life like going on walks and spending time with your family. One spot positive to this quarantine was spending time with our families before we enter a new chapter of our lives. Finding the little things in life to look forward to makes all the different encounters worth it. All of the changes and struggles we have gone through this during this quarantine allowed us to do, be grateful for the times we did have together. Coming out of this pandemic has shown that we have the strength within ourselves and each other even if we are six feet apart. With this strength, we can do anything as the class of 2020. All right. In our schooling days, we're all taught the Pythagorean theorem and told that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But let's be honest, being restricted from our normal lives kind of threw us for a loop, and we had to learn some of those things that aren't written in textbooks. Welcome to Watch Mojo, where we're counting down the top four most useful lessons of our high school experience. Number one, wash your hands. Number two, refers to the value of genuinity and friendship. Being quarantined really put purpose behind the old quality over quantity state of mind. Number three is in regard to our lasts. Not having a lot of our sentimental senior lasts can seem detrimental, but our class had to come to the realization that our lives don't end when we don't get our last track season and the world doesn't stop turning when the Little Mermaid gets canceled. Life goes on. I think the class of 2020 has learned to value adaptability, planning and holding optimism for the future. Cause we're some tough cookies and frankly, much greater things are ahead. And finally, the fourth and perhaps the most important thing that the COVID crisis has taught the class of 2020 is that the world truly rests on the shoulders of our hard work and lunch ladies. So on behalf of all of us, I'd like to extend our warmest regards to Jenny in the Rapid River Cafe. Thank you all and congratulations. So before I would like to begin, I want to thank the parents and the staff of Lincoln High School for granting us such an exceptional education. Thank you to you all. Now, anything is possible if you got enough nerve. A quote by J.K. Rowling. Now, I have found it that too many times have we questioned ourselves about our futures, whether it's college, relationships, work, money. We might even put off the very thought of it by telling ourselves to save the worries for the next day. And the best part, at least for me, we tend to make a cycle of it. But what if I told you tomorrow will never come if you don't do it now? Because things will never change until you flex your nerve and make it happen. Thank you all and I give you my best.
The coronavirus pandemic has granted me a substantial amount of time to think and reflect on the actions we are using to cope with this virus. During this time of supposed isolation, I have gathered that we cannot handle inconvenience. Even after being ordered to remain home and isolate from others, many chose to break this order and put others at risk just so they could avoid being inconvenienced. What many failed to realize is the fact that the mandated quarantine was only established for a short amount of time, not forever. With the passing of my close friend Taylor Jennings through this period of time, I realized that a minor inconvenience for a short amount of time is nothing compared to being stripped of life in this wonderful world. I have learned that we really need to wake up and look at the long term of life and ask ourselves if what you're doing is really worth the risk. With all of this behind me now, I now wake up every day, reflect back on that awful period, and realize that my current life could be a whole lot worse. We will experience many more inconveniences up until our last breath, but the pandemic is a great example of our ability to make it through obstacles in our way. With that being said, I miss you, TJ, and to the class of 2020, I wish you all the best in the future. Go Gophers! Needless to say, senior year has not been what anyone expected. It's been, quite honestly, pretty poopy in more ways than one. But not everything has to be perfect. It's the imperfections that make life interesting. I mean, what other class can say that they skipped a third of senior year or that they ran out of toilet paper? It may not have been perfect, but we will never forget it. We have done things that no other class has. We used to dream about a snow day or just staying home so we could lay around and do nothing. But now, we just dream about a normal day and seeing our friends again. If you would have told me that I would be standing here in August giving this speech, I would have laughed and told you you were crazy. But here we are. COVID has changed so much in our lives, it's hard to remember what life was like before this. And who knows what changes the future will bring. All we really know for certain is this event will shape us. We live through a new chapter in our history books. Maybe not the best chapter, but despite all the imperfections and changes, here we are, graduating and sweating through our gowns. We did it even if it was a little bit crappy. My whole life, I've been somewhat of a perfectionist. I like to be neat, organized, and plan ahead. Well, no amount of planning could have prepared me for the world to be put on pause. These past five months have been nothing short of unbelievable. In September, if someone had told you that a third of your senior year would be cut short because of a global pandemic, I don't think you'd believe them either. However, even though I may be a bit of a perfectionist, if there's one thing that I learned from this entire ordeal, it's that nothing is perfect. Sometimes things don't turn out the way we hoped they would. We didn't get to have our perfect senior year or a perfect end to our high school experience. But that's okay. Looking back, the things that I remember most about Lincoln High School are not the things that went perfectly. It's the things that couldn't have gone more wrong. Like, remember how insanely long that breakfast line got every morning during RPT? Or remember that day we played broom ball in the ice rink during a code blue? Or how about having our graduation ceremony a few too many months late on the football field for the first time in LHS history? So. As we all go our different ways and begin our adult lives, I urge you not to worry when things go wrong. Life is full of obstacles and challenges, but I think that if we can make it through the rest of this year, we can make through anything life throws at us. Even though our high school career didn't end quite the way we hoped it would, it sure has been a fun ride. Congrats, class of 2020. Carpe diem, it's all about seizing the day. 
Although this phrase originated back in 23 BC, it took me until being quarantined to really understand how important it is to seize the opportunities we're given. Before quarantine, I think many of us took our lives for granted. Going into senior year, I was excited for all the snow days I would get and not have to make up. Sadly, we had none. When the three week quarantine was introduced, I saw it as the snow days I never had. Then online school was rolled out. Going into senior year, I never understood how much I enjoyed school. That is, until it was taken away from me. Let this quarantine be a lesson to us all. Seize the moments we have because we never know when we'll lose them. Whether it be hanging out with friends, sitting in a classroom, going to work, shopping for groceries, participating in or just watching sports, or simply leaving the house, remember that there was a time when these little moments weren't possible. Next time somebody asks you to hang out, say yes. If you have the option to dine in or take out, dine in. If your favorite sports team or singer is going to be in town, go watch. If your mom asks if you want to go to the grocery store with her, join her. If you have to make up school at the end of the year, be glad you got to finish the year together. It's the littlest moments that we often take for granted. In the future, remember these little moments because you never know when you'll lose them. Seize the moment, no matter how small. There is no debating that COVID-19 has impacted our senior year and our lives greatly. While the pandemic itself has many stories to tell, the name COVID-19 can be used to tell the story of our high school career. C stands for caffeine, the addiction that many of us already have and will probably only get worse with college, especially when the papers that are due the next day turn from two pages to 12. I'm not looking forward to that one. O is for the Odyssey, our first taste of high school English all the way back in 2016, the true deciding point of whether you despised English or loved it. The next letter is V. I spent a while trying to think of a good letter for V, but I came up with nothing. So I'm going to take this time to shout out my boy Aversion. Best running back in state, don't at me. I stands for ice. Because there's kind of a lot of it. Because winter lasted literally forever. I think that's enough said. The D in COVID stands for the saving grace of quarantine. Disney Plus. Without it, surviving the pandemic was not possible. The one in 19 is for the one unforgettable journey I got to spend with every single one of you. And the nine is for the nine seconds I have before Mr. Asperson kicks me off the stage. Thank you, class 2020. When we came back to school for the last time in the fall, no one would have ever thought the school year would end like this. Missing out on my last track season, my last lunch table conversation, and my last chance to say goodbye to the teachers who dedicated themselves wholly to our education was devastating. Senior year has taught me so many things, but having it ripped away from me has taught me the much bigger lesson that I should never take my experience for granted. The best advice I can give to underclassmen is to really get involved, put yourself out there, and always make the most of the four very short years you have here at LHS. No one is telling you that you can't have an A in that class, that you can't be the first to cross the finish line in your track event, or that you can't play that piece of music you've been practicing for months. With that being said, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 and good luck to everyone in the future. COVID has taught us a valuable lesson. It has made us realize that there is more out there than ourselves. We realize that even though we didn't get to experience our senior year to the fullest, it's okay because we were protecting those at risk. We had struggles with losing our sports, our musical, and our trips to state. When we walked out on the door of March 13th, we didn't know it would be our last day. We didn't know to say goodbye to our favorite teachers, to walk through the halls, committing them to memory. And worst of all, 
We didn't get to gloat to the underclassmen that we were done while they still had a week left of school. Instead, we were stuck at home, not knowing when or if we would get to have another week of classes and see our friends in person. None of us wanted to miss out on these unique experiences or be in quarantine. Who would? But we did what was necessary for the wellness of others, which would always come before our own desires. Now we can only hope that no other classes have to experience what we did, that they get to have a full year full of great senior experiences, memories, happiness, and satisfaction. Finally, I want to thank all those truly selfless people putting themselves out there on the front lines. Thank you to the essential workers for putting yourselves at risk while the rest of us were at home. Thanks to all those who might have struggled with mental health during this time, but pushed through. All of us has become stronger. This is one for the history books. Congratulations, class of 2020. Wow, here we are. I vividly remember walking the halls of Grove Elementary School as a child and seeing the laminated printout posted above my classroom door that read, Class of 2020. And while our final year of high school didn't go completely as planned, I believe that there was much to learn from this very situation. After today, we will all go our separate ways. Many of us will pursue post high school education, enter the military, or immediately join the workforce. Despite our new and different journeys, we will all be eternally bonded by being part of Lincoln High School's graduating class of COVID-19. Through these months of social distancing, it was easy to acknowledge what the coronavirus had taken away from me. What I hadn't realized until more recently was what this experience has actually taught me. I could give you a long list, but I will simply say thank you. Thank you to those, who had a, to those of you who had an impact on my life, big or small, long-term or short-term. I also want to thank Lincoln's amazing faculty for allowing me to learn academically, but also providing an environment to truly create a better version of myself. This is what the coronavirus cannot nor will not take away from me, and for that I am eternally grateful. Cheers to us, Class of 2020, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Don't worry guys, we're almost done. It's almost over. Before I start, I would just like to point out that there is a significant delay between this microphone and those speakers. So everyone who just came up here and talked, you killed it, you did great, because this is hard. I'm hearing myself a second after I say it. So, good job. Anyways, since this pandemic has forced us to connect through technology so much, I thought I'd go a little old school. So I wrote a letter on behalf of the class. <clears throat> Dear COVID-19, you suck. That's all. Sincerely, with love, a couple of these, Class of 2020. And now the, can the orchestra members please come up to the front, please.
And now the LHS Orchestra under the direction of Mrs. Ginger Martin. Dan Rayburn graduated from Pittsville High School not too long ago in 1981. He then graduated with a bachelor's degree in business education from UWSP in 1986 and later a master's degree from UWSP in 2006. Mr. Rayburn will be entering his 35th year of teaching after spending his first 10 year, 15 years teaching at Black Hawk High School in southern Wisconsin. He moved to Wisconsin Rapids where he has served as high school and middle school teacher for the past 20 years. He has served as the FBLA advisor for Wisconsin Rapids in the past 18 years, the largest FBLA program in the state of Wisconsin, and has coached over 100 different teams at Wisconsin Rapids and Pittsville in various sports. Please welcome to the stage for the faculty address, Mr. Dan Rayburn. Good afternoon. Mr. Rasmussen makes me sound a lot cooler than I really am, but thanks anyway. I want to thank the class of 2020 for inviting me to talk at their special day of graduation. I feel honored to be able to do this. I remember you guys walking into East Junior High as eighth graders, about this much, this tall. And now to this day, you should be proud of your accomplishments inside and outside of the classroom. You guys really are awesome. The senior class will always have a story unlike any other to tell. Their story is one of unique circumstances and challenges. Your graduation will always be part of the unique history to Wisconsin Rapids. I never know how to start these speeches. I'm really not good at them, but you guys wanted me to do this, so I'm going to. Some people quote famous politicians, athletes. I'm gonna quote Dr. Seuss because that's about my reading level. So I had four kids and that's the only thing I remember doing. Um, the first two quotes I want to take from him is, from there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Another one that goes along with it, if you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good, if you remember those. I think what, what he's saying here is, 
enjoy yourself and have fun. Make sure you laugh at least once a day. I'm lucky, I teach you guys. If I'm not laughing by something stupid you said first hour, I'm not sure what happened that day. But anyway, take time to laugh. It's really important to do that. The next two quotes I'd like to take from him is the more you read, the more you things you'll know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. I think what he's saying is try out new things. You know, some things you're going to like, some things you're not. I tried jogging once, that business is way overrated. But you'll try things that you like. After high school I learned how to golf, not very good. I learned how to fish a little bit, and now that's a passion, I enjoy doing that. Nothing beats a good day at the golf course, talking trash with your buddies, or being out on the lake. So find something that you enjoy to do, something you look forward to and wake up and actually enjoy doing. Along with that, find a career that you will like. Strive to get it. Work hard to achieve it. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning and going to a job you love. I've been doing it for 35 years. And being with you guys, maybe I'm young at heart, but I look forward to coming to school every day. My biggest fear is someday my bosses behind me are going to say, how do we let this dude get in front of kids for 35 years? Maybe they'll wake up someday. But for right now, I got them fooled, so let's keep it that way. Seriously, find something that you love to do. On the flip side, I can't imagine anything worse than waking up and going to a job that you absolutely hate. So find something that you like to do. Again, try new things and get out of your comfort zone a little bit. It's always good to do that. The next quote from the genius Dr. Seuss is, I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that hang-ups and bang-ups can happen to you. What he's saying is that there's going to be trials, failures and rough patches in your life, tough days. For most of you, on March 13th, the world kind of shut down. And that was tough. It was tough for everybody, especially you seniors. You lost out a little bit on your senior year. Now you can react one of two ways. You can feel sorry for yourself, stay in a bad mood, or be depressed, or you can learn to laugh at a situation, or actually learn to make the best out of a situation. Like spend time with your family. I found out I have a wife that lived in my house for the last 33 years. Who knew? So, but, um, and also lean on good friends, your parents, your grandparents, and people that, and close friends. They're going to be in your corner, I guarantee it. And just the opposite of that, if there's somebody that's really negative, bringing you down, get rid of that as soon as you can. So make yourself a happier life. In fact, Dr. Seuss followed up that quote that puts everything into perspective. I have heard there are troubles of more than one kind. Some come from ahead, some come from behind. But I bought a big bat, I'm already UC, now my troubles are going to have trouble with me. So, if you're having a situation, get through it. Get through it as fast as you can. Get, get on to better days. And I guarantee, I know the last few months have been tough, but there's going to be better days for you. Some final quotes, and then I'll get this old man off the stage here. But they go something like this. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. I was talking to one of the biggest employers the other day, and I said, hey, I'm talking at this graduation speech for, the, for these, uh, the class of 2020. You got any words of advice? And he said, there's three things. He said that not only if they work for me, but they're going to be a success in life if they have these three things. Number one, common sense. Before you make a decision, think about it. Is it going to hurt myself? Is it going to hurt somebody else? If it is, probably not a good choice. So number one, common sense. Think before you act. Number two, be a hard worker. Show up 10 minutes early for a job, leave 10 minutes late, and in between that time, work your tail off. And it might not be something you enjoy, but the harder you work, the better people are gonna look at you. And number three, my favorite one, is just be nice. It doesn't cost anything to be nice. You know, no one's not going to remember if you scored 30 points in a basketball game one night. Sorry, Mr. Witter, but they might not remember it. Um, or, if you, or if you pulled off the great dance move or skateboarding move or you were great at tests. 
but what people are going to remember about you is how you treated them. So treat people with dignity, treat people with class, and that'll get you a long way in life. Graduates, there's nothing easy about the way your senior year ended. Like everything in life, it's all about your perspective. It is what you choose to do with those circumstances that matters. I'm going to leave you with one story. Um, a few years ago, I was walking my three-year-old son to the park. He was out ahead of me because he's way in better shape than I am. And uh, he kept turning around and going like this and getting all mad at me and said, I said, Caden, buddy, what's the matter? And he said, it's my darn shadow. It's too fast. I can't get away from it. And I said, you know what, pal, get used to it. I said, it's always there and it always will be. There's an old saying, no matter where you go, there you are. And that's true. The person you're going to spend the most of your life with, the rest of your life, is yourself. It's a lot better to spend time with a person that's happy, tries new things, is a hard worker, and is nice. So be that person. You know, live life to your fullest. Be the kind of person that makes others want to step up their game. Finally, I leave you with my two favorite quotes from Dr. Seuss from his book, You're Off to Great Places. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so let's get on your way. Good luck, class of 2020. I will be rooting for your successes. And thanks again for letting me share in your day. And now for what we've been waiting for over um, 70 days, I guess. I ask that you remain seated and withhold your applause until all the graduates have received their diplomas. We ask that you not come any closer to the stage due to physical distancing guidelines as a professional photographer will be taking your photographer as your graduate crosses the stage. Esteemed school board members and WRPS administration, it is my privilege to declare that these students sitting before you today have met or exceeded all the requirements for graduation set forth by the School District of Wisconsin Rapids and the State of Wisconsin statutes and request that the Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School diploma be conferred upon them. I'd like to call to the stage John Krings, WRPS School Board President, and Craig Brorn, WRPS Superintendent, and they will be assisted by Nick Sidoritz and Kelly Zawicki, LHS Associate Principals, for the conferring of the diplomas. It's, 2000, it's 2020, nothing works right. Allison Elizabeth Abbott. Justin Michael Arthur Abraham. Courtney Jean Abrahamson. Colby John Paul Acker. Erica Lynn Addis. Amanda Lee Alice. Tyra Rose Ackerman. Josephine K. Altman. Julia Grace Andres.
America A Arts. Caleb Donald Ashenbrenner. Kendra Lynn Ashenberg. Alyssa Marie Banta. Faith Amber Bauer. Alex Brandon Bean. Elena Grace Bouchard. Jacob Alexander Becker. Tyler August Beyer. Ryan Timothy Blockheis. Morgan Page Bloyd. Brenna Mary Bunkowski. Mackenzie Rose Bransma. Lauren Nicole Brigando. Easton Thomas Bryce. Shondi Rose Britton. Haley Elizabeth Bunkingham. You can go all the way up. Caitlin Eleanor Call. Holly Tierra Camarada. Hannah Rose Carlin. Bjorn Paul Carlson. Colby David Carlson. Cadison Dale Saplina. Cooper David Christensen. Kiara Rosalie Coombs. Dallas Ethan Crawford. Karis Olivia Ione Crawley. Clayton Jeffrey Thomas Dasso. Porter James Dillingham. Damian Wayne Dingus. Erica Faye Dingus. Faith Marie Dix. Shelby Lisa Dixon. Dakota Allen Dorler. Yeah. 
Logan David Domke. Gracie Lee Duda. Megan K. Dudgeon. Morgan Lynn Elliott. Julia Ernst. Abby Marie Evenson. Emily Rose Fader. Peyton Fehrenbach. Hannah Noel Felker. Caroline Rose Furk. Ryan Michael Fleissner. Nico A.M. Franklin. Drake Fredericks. Claire Catherine Free. Molly Joe Friday. Molly Margaret Frizzell. Natalie Luis Gathers. Corbin Giese. Julian William Gala. Anna Paola Gonzalez. Braden Thomas Gray. Owen Michael Greening. Damian Daniel Greenwood. Dustin James Groshek. Carson James Guck. Thomas Aaron Gustafson. Catherine Elizabeth Hart. Charles William Hartman. Elizabeth Marie Hupt. Oliver Christian Hayes.
Hayden Joseph Heath. Jaden Isaiah Hinnings. Judah Aaron Henriksen. Hope Elizabeth Hermanson. Eduardo Herrera. Tashana Janae Hickman. Tyler Dwight Hogan. Garrett Daniel Huber. Riley Daniel Ray Harris. Anthony Robert Hyde. Caleb Carl Jacob. Hannah Catherine Jarosh. Dawson Bradley Jenkin. Faith Ann Jepson. Hope Marie Jepson. Madison Gladys Johnson. Garrett Edward Juniman. Justin Robert Judela. Casmira Marie Caston. Caden Jackson Coutzer. Adeline Gail Ruth Kevaleski. Amanda Marie Kester. Aaron Nicole Kester. Alicia Ann King. David Kua King. Gaufua Angela King. Vong King. Katie K. Klofka. Andrew Owen Cleaver. Emily May Knapp. Casey Lynn Cook. Sarah Marie Cordy. Michael. 
Natalie Rose Krako. Jacob Andrew Kraus. Lillian D. Krieger. Nathan Ryan Kromenacher. Mackenzie Marie Crook. London Angelina Kubishek. Morgan Patrick Cunninger. Sierra Grace Laddick. Jonathan Joseph George Lager. Harrison Robert Lambert. Carson Scott Landowski. Christian Timothy Lankford. Anastasia Joella Larson. Nellie Elizabeth Levesque. Tyler Storm Lenzo. Jordan Dale Little. Matthew Ryan Long. Abigail Rose Look. Weiler Lucas Lubeck. Danielle Marie Lytle. Jaron Jeffrey Mansell. Taylor Rose Mansell. Kaylee Margaret Marzafka. Callisto Mathieson. Chloe Elizabeth Matthews. Devin Daniel Mayick. Anthony Austin Manger. Austin Lee Robert Menning. Alana Marie Miller. Richard Earl Miller III. New Mua.
Connor Allen Muhlenkamp. Jessica Ann Mueller. Caroline Marie Narrell. Ashton Thomas Nelson. Symphony Rose Neiman Peters. Brooklyn Marie Novak. Elizabeth Ann Marie Nystrom. Simon Daniel O'Day. Joseph William Olivares. Lauren Elizabeth Antel. Trevor Dean Ott. Sasha Lynn Pagel Neuenfeld. Cassidy Caitlin Parker. Go to the stairs. Gabriel Michael Peters. Logan James Planer. Gabriel Ponce. Justin Timothy Porter. Adam Robert Price. McKenna Marie Primo. Cameron Jacob Prine. Mackenzie Ashley Pyburn. Nigel Bryant Rave. Taylor Rose Reinecke. Dustin Samuel Rickaby. Ellie Aaron Rietveld. Caitlin Renee Rivest. Alexa Hope Rocky. Harlan Dennis Rupp. Shannon, 
Cheyenne N. Sampson. Caitlin Suzanne Schleisner. Elizabeth Ann Schmutzer. Angelica Ann Schneider. Matthew Jacob Schooley. Nathaniel Merlin Schooley. Bryce David Schrader. Regan Emma Schrader. Colton Rodney Schultz. Mallory Cassandra Schultz. <laughs> Kaylin Rose Schulze. Eight and a half left. Shoots. Yeah. I've said it wrong for three years, AJ. Andrew James Shoots. Joshua Earl Schwabach. Willow Ann Searing. Natasha. Natasha Lynn Sheehan Koshell. Joseph Anthony Siegler. Congratulations, Joe. Natalie Sue Siegler. Sean Ricardo Silas Jr. <laughs> Olivia May Skifton. Bennett Daniel Smith. Taylor Lee Soderberg. Lily Soto. Andrew John Sparks. <laughs> Natasha St. Clair. You can go to the bottom of the stairs. Sativa St. Clair. <laughs> Eric Jaden Steinhilber. Jada Kaylin Steinhorst. Alexandra Grace May Stevenson. Cassandra Lee Sturk. You go to the bottom of the stairs, Cassandra.
Sarah Jane Strozen. Haley Faye Stadinsky. Harrison Timothy Sullivan. Taylor Joanne Swanson. Matthew Richard Swisher. Kablia Tao. Kablia, go to the stairs. Jordan William Tommy. Isabel Starr Thompson. Lydia Mary Claire Thurber. Nicholas Craig Thurber. Versian Ventino Gamil. Lorena Maria Torres. Derek Joseph Tritz. Bailey Elise Turner. Gabriella Ann Turner. Nathan Randon Turner. Kiana Michelle Vincenskis. Noah Aaron Vincent. Bella Marie Venter. Andrew Eric Voigt. Ryan Jason Vollert. Chandler Thomas Verwink. Shaylee Diane Walner. Sophia Luis Wardor. Andrew Julius Waters. Sawyer John Weidman. K. 
Caitlin Rose Weiler. Madison Lee Roosted. Mateo Emilio Emilio Whitehead. Yep. <laughs> Aiden Edwin White. Chloe Lynn Whitrock. Xavier Willie. Jaylee Ann Williams. Kaylee Marie Williams. Jacob Reed Whipley. Lexi Janelle Whipperforth. Liberty Christina Wirtz. Allison Rain Wolf. Taryn Lee Wolosik. Nathan Charles Yankee. Paige Marie Zerby. Destiny Sky Zernicky. Cassidy Ryan Zegon. I know. It felt like rain five minutes ago. I thought it was going to start pouring on us. Yeah, I know. It rained on Fort Edwards yesterday. Zachary John Zimmerman. Alexandria Diane Zuger. Now I'd like to call to the front Harrison Sullivan for the movement of the tassel and Claire Free as well. Will all graduates please stand? We now have some changes from prior year's ceremonies. After the singing of our alma mater, we will have the graduates recess off the field. To maintain physical distancing and the safety of all present, we will dismiss guests by sections and rows. So please stay seated until your section is dismissed. Now please stand and join Claire Free with the singing of our alma mater, which is located on the back of your program. Okay. 
and high we sing tonight the good and pure the red and white will follow the banner that follows the right the red and white of the rapids oh lincoln forward forever forward where triumph waits thee our alma mater oh lincoln forward press on to victory up with the red and white Congratulations, class of 2020!